Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of physics of semiconductor devices. And uh, this discussion will also be related to the energy band theory. In the previous video we discussed about uh, the energy band formation, the formation of valence band and conduction band, how it happens. Uh, the interaction of uh, atoms which are close together, their overlap and splitting at the equilibrium interatomic distance and how because of that splitting uh, valence band and conduction band is formed. So in this video we are going to discuss about another important aspect related to energy band which is the energy and momentum relationship for the electrons in an atom. So, the energy for uh, electron uh, which is revolving around a nucleus in a particular orbit which is the bound electron, it is bound to the nucleus. Once it overcomes the nuclear force of attraction and gets detached from the orbit it becomes a free electron. So for that free electron the energy is given by p square 2m0 which is equal to h square k square by 2m0. So here p is the momentum of the electron m subscript o is d or the, the free electron mass h is Planck's constant k is the wave vector associated with the electron this is the expression okay now the problem with this equation is this m0 or m subscript o whatever you say this free electron mass uh, the mass of the electron is not equal to this why because once an, uh, the electron it overcomes the nuclear force of attraction gets detached it is not the only electron which is free okay it is not isolated it is under the interaction with a lot of free electrons and the ionic lattices in this semiconductor crystal we are discussing it from the point of view of semiconductors so here the mass of the electron it gets altered okay so here the concept of electron effective mass or the effective mass of electron it comes into play. So as I said the free electron inside a semiconductor material which is detached it experiences force internal force due to the ionic crystal lattices. So as a result of this force experience of the internal force can be a force of attraction or repulsion the mass of the electron gets altered and this changed electron mass is called as effective mass which can be represented as m subscript n so this equation now gets modified as this same everything remains the same only instead of m o we have m n where m n is the effective electron mass so if we want to find out the value of mn which which keeps on changing we can differentiate this energy twice partial differentiation with respect to the wave vector and this gives us the first differentiation gives us h square k by mn and the second differentiation gives us h square mn so mn is equal to h square by del square e by del k square okay now the energy of the electron with respect to the wave vector it shows a parabolic relationship something like this and also it's a same kind of a diagram for energy and momentum energy of the electron the variation of energy with respect to the momentum of the electron this is for a free electron okay single electron so the as I've already discussed, the electrons at the top, 
the, the two energy bands are formed because of energy splitting of the interaction between separate energy levels and their splitting valence band and conduction band valence band is for the outermost orbit okay the outermost orbit of uh, the atom and when the electrons they overcome the nuclear force of attraction they move uh, from the valence band and become free which is called as the conduction band so when an electron leaves a valence band it leaves behind a vacant electronic side which is called as a hole okay a vacant electronic site is called as hole so please watch the previous videos i don't want to again go back to the same valence band conduction band how they are formed i'm just going directly so when an electron gets detached from the valence band becomes a free electron it is said as to be to to have moved to the conduction band because those free electrons are responsible for conduction so when an electron leaves the valence band it leaves behind a vacancy or vacant electronic site which is called as hole so hole is a hypothetical concept there is nothing a uh, real like a hole it is just a vacancy for electron which has a strong force of attraction for neighboring electrons which come and fill the fill that vacant spot so the electrons which we, which have moved to the conduction band they are assumed to have a positive effective mass and uh, the vacant electronic sites the vacancy of electrons the holes they have a negative effective mass in the valence band so the actual diagram it looks something like this taking both electrons and holes into play okay same parabolic relationship but we can say they are mirror images opposite with respect to each other this is for the conduction band the free electrons and this is for the vacant electronic sites the holes electron energy hole energy opposite and the the separation distance between the same peaks okay here the pop peak uh, for the conduction band actually it is the minimum point and here the maximum point the negative peak and the positive peak that is the energy gap or the forbidden energy gap okay so now the this is for an isolated electron the isolated atom now when we take an electron moving inside a semiconductor crystal lattice because of its interaction with a lot of atoms and a lot of electrons and also the uh, periodic potential uh, the semiconductor crystal lattice this electron energy is not continuous it it is discontinuous in nature and the actual energy band diagram looks something like this okay so here this parabolic figure you can see at the bottom for the first energy band and then with a certain fixed forbidden energy gap a second energy band is formed within first the first is in within the range minus pi by a to pi by a then the second energy band with a little bit of forbidden energy gap it is from minus 2 pi by a to minus pi by a and again from pi by a to 2 pi by a so the total range is from minus 2 pi by a to 2 pi by a then the third energy band it is it has a range from minus 3 pi by a to 3 pi by a so here a is the lattice constant okay for the semiconductor crystal lattice which is unique for a particular crystal uh, whatever semiconductor which we have taken so here a is the lattice constant eb is a particular energy band first second third and uh, feg is the forbidden energy gap the energy difference between the conduction band and the valence band so it is a discontinuous kind of a energy band diagram since we are taking in the interaction of the electron with the periodic potential of the semiconductor crystal lattice and also with the neighboring electrons so the actual diagram looks something like this and this is the uh, from an explanatory point of view to make you understand how the conduction band and valence band is formed and then the energy gap between the uh, two bands okay so here we have discussed the uh, energy and momentum relationship for free electrons in an atom so i hope you like this video
and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to uh, engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much